So, uh, as I mentioned, so here's an example here. So we've got dyno voting uh, using the micro bit. And so this is where, you know, you could have this displayed on the front um, in, your, in your class. Uh, and then when the students come in, they can press the, uh, the A and the B button to, to vote on something in particular. Now, again, uh, I've got to go into the inside here uh, to pair the micro bit with the, um, with the uh, Scratch project. So again, I'll go down to micro bit and I'll click on the um, little exclamation mark. Uh, and then it sees that I'm going to try to connect it. And now I have that ability to um, do some voting. And so here, it's just asking what's your favorite dinosaur. And so we can use, go ahead and use the um, micro bit to connect that to it. Uh, what's the deal here? So when I press start, one button pressed. Oh, it's disconnected. Could my battery back be dead? Looks like it might be dead. Let's grab another battery pack. battery pack. So there we are, connected with the battery pack again. So we'll just do a refresh. <clears throat> okay, so here we are connecting to the micro bit. It is connected well, on the micro bit side of things. It says that it's connected. Or are we out of batteries again? Oh, no, looks like we're good. Okay, so we've got a green check mark here. So again, we'll press the green flag to get things all set. <clears throat> and then if we press on the B button, we'll see that we have Trinus, uh, Triceratops, sorry, uh, is being uh, populated around there. And if we go ahead and press on the A button, we'll see that there are some T-Rexes that are being populated. And so they're just randomly going around the screen. Um, but again, you can see how this could be fun for the students to use this as a voting. Um, so I just picked favorite dinosaur, but again, you can pick whatever you want uh, and you would just change some of the details of, of the project. So I will go in here and, and show you what I'm, uh, how I'm doing that. And so um, <clears throat> you can see in the bottom uh, right, uh, we've got uh, dinosaur one, dinosaur two, well, four and two. Um, and so the idea is we are taking the, when the A button has been pressed, we're changing Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, the variable. So we have a variable, as we can see right here, called Tyrannosaurus Rex, and we're augmenting it or we're adding one to it every time. And then we're going to a certain position so again, this X and Y positions. So negative 240 to 240 is our X direction and negative 180 to zero. So from 180 to about here is zero. So uh, our, our dinosaurs are gonna stay in the, the bottom half of the screen. And then we stamp and then we go to a certain position. So we go back to this position uh, to wait here uh, and then we're ready to go to stamp again. And so this is the same code or very similar code. Obviously the, the, the position is gonna be a little bit different and we're adding Triceratops one and B for that one. And then this last sprite, which you sorta of can't see, I'll just move it over here, is our favorite dinosaur sprite. And so if I click on it, um, what it does is if we click the A and the B together, so they have to be pressed at the same time. It will wait a second or wait a very, very short time and then put them uh, at zero. So let's go ahead and try that one. So again, we've got to put A and B together. 
And so that will clear out uh, all of the stuff. And so we couldn't use that any key option or any button up here. We had to make sure that they were being pushed at the same time. Um, or else if, we, if there was any difference between A and B, it might treat it as the Dinosaur 4 or the Dinosaur 2 script. All right. So again, it just waits for both of them to be uh, pressed at the same time. It waits a very short period of time, erases the two, or uh, like sets them back to zero, and then erases all, and then we can restart our count. So if you had uh, class one or class two, uh, and then in the backdrop, we don't have any code here in the backdrop, so you don't need to worry about what's in here. All right. So again, I would invite you to uh, remix this and use it in your own um, in your own studio, uh, in your own class, with anything you would like. So again, if you want the link to this, I can share it within our um, in our course. All right. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, have a great day. Happy scratching.